Eight British Career Awards. How was it tonight? It's fantastic. It's great to serve because it's a big celebration because it's, it's such a big part. I mean, that's the British Curry Awards, a big part of British life. Uh, I'm a huge curry fan. Everyone there is. I think it's part of the British way of life now. Um, it's been, it has been for over 100 years. And I do a lot of touring. And it's always a big treat after a show, go out for a curry because, you know, you guys work so ha hard. They're sort of, you know, trying to find a restaurant that's open at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. You're always there. Do great food. Um, and I've eaten curries, you know, all around India and Pakistan with Jeffrey Boycott once in Ralph Pindi, and I was out there. He said, "No, he said, don't worry about this. I'll help. I'll help. You can have some of my picnic here." So, um, yeah, it's great to be here. I know I've been I've wanted to come here for quite a few years now. Eventually, the timing worked out, so I could do it, and I get to share the hosting with Jenny Bond, a royal correspondent. What more could you want? How important do you think the awards are for the restaurant? Well, I think everybody likes awards now because it's, it's just one evening where people can focus and recognise and also people can meet and network, you know, all the people from curry houses and restaurants around the, the country, they look forward to tonight. They know it's their special evening. And I think it's it's a couple of, it's recognition and it's celebration. And that's what it's all about. There's a kind of nice celebration going on tonight. You can hear the drums, there's a bit of music going on. And um, I think it's got, and also the awards that take place tonight, you know, these are things that'll put restaurants on the map, put places on the map. And people for the next year, two years, three years or whatever, will be able to say, listen, we've competed with the very best. We are the best in the region, best in the town, whatever. And that's sort of about a little bit of competition as well. What about the restaurants? Um, I think probably if they didn't win tonight, they can they can give up, or they can just try and get better, and that's it. They just try and get better. And uh, I was up in Scotland the other day, and it's a different thing, but there's a haggis um, thing up there, and he's had the same recipe. He decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the recipe. I'm going to work with the customers, see what they want, and you know things like that, innovations, things like up in Hamilton, they're doing that 29-minute delivery thing. You know. If you